Do those putts give you trouble out on the golf course? I'm gonna be giving you three drills that you can add to your practice routine to start knocking those in, building some confidence, and shooting lower scores. But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay up to date on all the new content we're dropping weekly. And let's get right into it. So the first drill I'm gonna be giving you is to work on contact. This is one of the most overlooked aspects of putting and knocking in those short putts. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a tee, you're gonna place it on either side of the putter head. The closer you put it, the harder. And then you're just gonna find a straight putt and you're gonna work on making a stroke and not have it hit those tees. This drill is made famous by Tiger Woods himself. He uses it before every round of golf and so, so should you. The next drill is all about start line and hitting it. Because if we have those two things, we're not gonna miss many of these putts. You're gonna take two tees and you're gonna place them a ball's width apart, about a foot to six inches in front of the gate you've already set up. Now, what you're gonna work on, clearing the putter through the gate, but also getting that ball rolling between those tees into the hole. This is gonna be great for your eye line, visualizing and just building confidence, knowing you're hitting that every single time. We've sorted contact and start line. There's not really too much that can go wrong now. The next drill we are gonna put into place is a pressure style drill. This is gonna help you take what you practice to the golf course. It's the clock drill. It's made famous by Phil Mickelson. He swears by it. Take a wedge or your putter, something three feet long, and you're gonna go around in a circle and you're gonna place tees at equal distances apart. From there, you're gonna put balls on each tee and then you're gonna go around in a clockwise fashion trying to knock these putts in. What you need to do is before you start this drill, you need to set your own goals. Your goal could be to make five out of six or all of them or go multiple times around in a row. Have a goal, stick to it, really work on putting under pressure because if you don't put under pressure on the, on the practice green, you are going to have one hell of a time when you get out on the golf course and you have that putt to break your low score. All right guys, there's three tips there to help you knock in those short putts and lower your scores. If you haven't broken 100 yet, make sure you click here, check out my How to Break 100 video. Comment below, let me know what your favorite putting drill is. If you wanna see more of these, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time guys, see ya.